So, in our previous lecture, we learned how to solve this particular PD using the method of characteristics and in this particular one, we will learn how to solve using the method of change of coordinates. So with the method of coordinates, actually what we do is that, you know, this how u here is a function of x and y. We mostly try to work in a different coordinate, let's say x and n. So you realize that we've changed coordinates here, so that's why mostly we call the method the method of change of coordinates. So we will let x be given by ax plus by. So we do the transformation we use. And we let n to be given by bx minus ay. And we get this particular equation. a squared plus b squared u of x equals 0. To characterize our partial differential equation. So you realize that our partial differential equation now depend depended on x and y, but now depends on just s. So that means we can see we are working something like we are working in the ordinary differential equation form. So we get an OD to characterize our PD. What we do is that we solve this particular um OD. So when divide you by a square plus b square, we get u of s will be equal to zero. And this is the same as del u del s is equal to zero. And you know u when change coordinates a function of x and n. So because we are integrating with respect to x, that means our function our constant will be a function of what n. So you are going to get u of s n to be equal to f of n. Because we integrate with respect to x, so arbitrary constant will be a function of n, right? But recall that we said n is equal to bx minus ay. So that means when we decide to work in the original coordinate, we get u of x will be equal to f of bx minus ay. And I hope you remember this was the same solution we had when we used the method of characteristics. So let's take the same example we solved using the method of characteristic and let's see whether we get the same solution or not. Okay. So what's it called to sign y? So we know from here that our a is two, our b is five. So our s, which is equal to ax plus by, will be equal to 2x plus 5y. And our n, which is given by bx minus ay, will be equal to 5x minus 2y. So we know that we are going to get a squared plus b squared, plus s equals 0. And this is going to give us 2 squared plus 5 squared equal to 0. And this is going to give us 29. This is going to give us 0. When we solve this particular differential equation, we get u of sn equals f of n. We notice that when you Turn back to our original coordinate. We have bx minus ay, and um, our n, which is bx minus ay, is 5x minus 2y. So this becomes our general solution.